Hello! So today we are decluttering my wardrobe. As you can tell, I moved into this place like three months ago. No, wait. August, September, October, November. This is what we have to work with now and it's it's getting a lot. I'm gonna do a whole series where I also declutter my skincare, my makeup. The end goal of this is to be able to pack all the stuff that either I don't wear, don't fit me anymore or I think deserves a better home and pack them into like little grab bags or giveaway prizes and then just kind of like disseminate them to y'all. So we're gonna do my wardrobe first. I am very excited. I've been wanting to do this for so long but I've been so busy. I might do a wardrobe tour separately because there are some things now it's just very cluttered I don't really want to get into we're just gonna be able to see just like the basic stuff like the stuff that's hanging I do have an open concept wardrobe so y'all can basically see everything that's here also a very funny thing is you know how like people get the chair where you know you got like clothes that are dirty but not too dirty and you're like hmm I don't want to wash it what should I do with it that's the bench. Like I have upgraded from a chair. Most of these things I just took out of laundry because I knew that we're making this video so I didn't even need to fold them or put them back because I'm just gonna declutter them now. Most of these things that are hanging here have their own space and it's not too too cluttered but I think a lot of the things here, here, what am I doing? Here, like in this little IKEA um, hanging shelf thing, it's just getting like a a bit much like like what is all of this I don't understand so we're gonna declutter them now I'm just gonna go through this section now show you guys some of my favorite pieces um, most of the jackets I think I am keeping just cuz I did a very big declutter of all of my jackets before I moved in and I haven't gotten very many since in case you're wondering yes I do color coordinate all of my stuff because if I don't it would be too chaotic and I wouldn't even want to look through it and I kind of have to because it's an open closet and it would look really really messy if I did it this is actually my mom's it's so vintagey right I have another one of hers here <laughs> this is mama's okay this one we have issues with because I kept it for the declutter and I never seem to reach for it. I think this would be great as like a, a pairing for like a really fancy dress or like a wedding kind of thing. Which is now why I'm considering keeping it but when I pulled it out I really wanted to get rid of it. It's just a round neck and then it's just sequins. I don't know, should I keep it? God damn it. Okay, let me try it on. <laughs> you know what, I'm gonna get rid of it. If I do this for every single shirt, I'm like, eh, I'll keep it. I will never get rid of anything, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Just got rid of one so far. There's an empty spot here because this jacket just came out of the wash. I fucking hate doing laundry, guys. Like, here we go! Once it's all wet, you gotta take them out. They're kind of like steamy. And you gotta hang them individually. I have like a little hanging rack. And then I have to wait a couple of days again. And then have to like bring them out and then have to fold them. I hate that. I hate that. Ah, uh, okay. This one, I don't know how to feel about this because this is a very, very thin hoodie. And I actually got this in Dobi God. It was that like Japanese store. Now it's tempt, but. I'm pretty sure this came in a set. It's very comfortable. I'm pretty sure it wasn't cheap either, but I just, I never wear it, ever. I probably should. There's not been a single time I've worn it, I think. I've had this for three years, nearly four now. I got this fresh out of JC, I think. It is so comfortable though. Th this goes in the maybe pile, I think. Ugh. Let me, let me bring y'all closer. Okay. Leather jacket and this, which is... One of my faves. It's like a velvet blazer, long, kind of only appropriate for non-Singaporean weather, but I'm still keeping it with me. Coats and shirling, like wool jackets and stuff, I keep them at my parents' place. So here is my button-down shirts and blouses section. I dedicated this spot, prime area, you know, like grabbable right next to the door. Over the past like five months in New York and like sometime before that, sometime after, I've amassed a very lovely collection of both like vintage and contemporary blouses that I always gravitate towards and I think like there's 
super comfy, they're super cute, they're very versatile and most of them are very unique so I'm just gonna go through them. I very highly sincerely doubt that I will get rid of anything. Uniqlo has some of the most boring but comfortable shirts. They are so comfortable. This is one of my go-tos, I always wear this. And the funny thing is, we were actually doing like a flea together, we were selling all of our stuff. It was four of us, right? And we were all picking out clothes, like as we were selling it, we were like, oh my god, why are you selling that? I want that! And then so we started swapping and I got this from my best friend Angelica. And in case you're wondering, yes, Sarah is also my best friend, I have multiple best friends because we're not children, we don't have to rank our friends, they're all my best friends. This is like a very graphic tee. I got some Marks and Spencer's in. Why would I do that? Oh god, I love this so much, I never ever get to wear it. This is um, Alfred Dunner. Oh, it's so cute! I got this from uh, Melbourne. This was the only piece of clothing that I got. Whoa! One of my other best friends, Minru, she kind of like took this out as a joke because we went to a vintage flea, like a very big kind of clear out place and she was like, haha, like, and I was like, oh my god, that's actually super cute. I want that because I love the Mandarin collar. It's so cute, right? Love it! Uh, okay, this one I think I will get rid of. Oh, here we go! This one, I don't really wear it anymore. This is good, this is good, this is good, this is fave. This is good, this is good, good. Good, 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 good. I think this one I'm gonna get rid of. I've literally never worn this before. I think I just have way too many options for blouses and I think it deserves a better home to be honest. So this one is going as well. You know what? This maybe is gonna go as well. Now moving on to this section, basically long dresses, fancier dresses, that kind of thing. It's a very small space so I am looking to hopefully thin it out a bit. Okay, this one I think is gonna go. Even though it fits me perfectly, even though as a short girl, this is an ideal maxi. It really hits me where my feet goes. And the lattice is really beautiful, but it's just really not me. Like, I wouldn't reach and get this. Even though, oh, this is objectively a very beautiful dress. So, oh, and it feels so nice. Okay, it's gonna, it, it's gonna go. This is really, really long. I think I got this in one of my early ass hauls where I couldn't help but buy just really beautiful things that I never wore. But I'm still gonna keep it because it's really stunning. Oh my god, what am I doing here? Yeah. Can you see? <laughs> my Instagram followers told me to get this and so I did. It's really, 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 really beautiful. I'm just gonna remove these right now because these are kind of in the way. Oh, this is cute too. You know what? I'm gonna move this to the other side with the shorter dresses because it gets lost. Ah, oh, this damn dress! It's so cute, so comfy, but maybe I should wear it sometime. This is a block shop dress. Boy from the which block shop. But I never wear it. Eh? <laughs> This is one of my favorites. You can pair this like with anything else. You can just kind of put it over. I'm gonna put on the other side as well. You'll see the other side in a bit. The shelf thing and the stuff on the bench, I'm gonna like put everything on the bed and then slowly go through it. So right now we're just gonna jump into the short dresses now. I have the stuff that were there that were too short and I moved them here because there's more space. I have the tendency to buy stuff that's very revealing and then I think like it'll look good and I won't care but then I do care and then I just don't end up wearing it. So that's on me. <laughs> this is a very pretty uh, romper and I got this at Kin Store Cold. Should I keep it? I think it's a like a blousy... Like, I feel like this would be a nice brunch occasion. By the time we do the next declutter, if I still haven't worn it, I'll get rid of it. I really freaking love this romper, but I think at this point, it's just a bit too small for me. I used to wear this all the time. I got this in my first year in uni, and it's just one of these, like, uh, lace uh, kind of romper. I really love it, and I have a lot of good memories of it, but yeah. At this point, if I wear it, it's just gonna look obscene, so... Gonna take that out. Yeah, that's it I think. I'm gonna keep the rest. These are long sleeve stuff. I used to put these folded up in the floating shelf but long sleeve stuff just take up a lot of space so I just thought it'd be better if I hang them. This is cute but I just never get the occasion to wear them. I'm already decluttering the white one so I put that separately already. If you want the white one then stay tuned because it's gonna be decluttered. This! This one! Remember? I'm just gonna keep it for a while. I think I'm gonna remove it from here and put it in with my like home clothes pile. This is super cute, love it. This one I can still deal with for a while. This one as well. 
Oh, I love this. This is new. Ah! So cute, right? It's a chunky sweater. It's very cute, it fits very well, but like the sleeves are a bit too long and they're just kind of in the way. And this is a maybe. Oh! This one is just like, because it's so frilly, because it's so big, it just makes me look very bulky, but I still find it very cute, so I'm just gonna hold on to it for a while more. Yeah, no neutrals, we are keeping. This one I said I was obsessed with and I just never wore out, what the hell. What the hell? Uh, this one's a basic and this one's alright. And then I have a hidden pillow. Anyone wants to sleep over, I can let me know. This is the next section. I have shorts that are not denim shorts. Denim shorts? Yeah, I got a lot. There's a whole row at the back. Long pants. I'm so ashamed of myself. More long pants. These jeans are like solid. God, I feel like this floating thing is gonna fall at any time. Overalls that I just stuffed at the back. Dance leggings. Skirts. More skirts. This looks like it's gonna fall. Basically, I'm surrounded by uh, a lot of uh, pants right now. Check it. <laughs> pants, pants. I look like I'm not wearing any pants. I am, I promise. Let's go through them right now. And I'm gonna make you stop staring at my crotch. So let's get to it. These pair of pants, the gold rimming keeps coming out. And I'm really, really upset because like the quality of this is so nice. It fits me so well. I would still wear it. And I don't feel comfortable like giving this to anyone else because like the, the trimmings, it's just like this is gonna be in like a I don't know what to do with it pal. In terms of navy, I also have this one which is very comparable. It's kind of the same. But the only thing is this one is a little bit too long for me. But I still want to keep it because I think it's very cute. This is super cute but I just, I don't wear these ever. Why? I will wear it eventually now that I can dress up and now that I don't have school every day. So I'm just I'm just gonna keep it, but uh, gonna make a mental note to myself to wear it more often. These are super super like decadent kind of like silk pants. So this is from a vintage store in Singapore and this is from New York. Yeah. So I'm just gonna keep them both because they're both very important to me. These ones I'm never getting rid of. These are from Clove and they're a little bit too big for me. I did try a smaller size. It just looked a little bit obscene at like the butt area because they do tend to run very straight. But this is one of the most comfortable pants I have owned. It's very, very, very nice. Very airy but still very structured and just very comfy. These are my favourite. So precious to me that I honestly have only worn them out once and I don't even want to wear them out now because like if it rains I just I wouldn't know what to do with myself if this got dirty. These are like just a pair of 10 high-waisted pleated pants, vintage wool. The way they're cut, it's just that perfect like vintage pant. If the house, cha 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 but if I ever had to leave in a hurry I had to like say goodbye to all of my belongings, I don't even want to say like fire or something because like I don't want to, you know, I would just take this and run. <laughs> I think you guys are starting to notice how much of a hoarder I am and how much of like a many possibilities kind of person that I am. I can't do capsule wardrobes for that reason. I don't have specific rules I live by for style. Like this one for example, I love it so much. I really barely wear it, I really should. It's just like this. I got this from Zalora. White pleated black pants. It's just that I get so overwhelmed with so many clothes sometimes. That's the reason for this decluttering, but clearly it's not going very well because I'm just refolding everything and putting it back in. Instead of folding them and putting them back, I'm just gonna go through everything and show you guys what I'm not gonna keep. So either I will find a way to remove this trim or I will pass it on to someone who like maybe doesn't mind. This kind of um, style is very like boy shortsy, very cute, so I'm gonna keep it. Okay, this one. I think I'm gonna declutter. I got this like three months ago but for some reason like I think it makes my butt look very big and makes my legs look very short. I think it's just the print on me or maybe like just my brain is kind of weird. These ones I am gonna declutter. These are like lacy shorts. They have the cute like inserts and stuff but I don't think it's really my style anymore. This one I am gonna get rid of unfortunately. I hauled this a while back, just a couple of months back, and I thought this was super cute. It came with like a little sash, which I am gonna throw this in with. This makes me look very unflattering. It's the same thing as this one. Like they're both very cute and I thought they would work for me, but it just doesn't. So I'm just gonna hop this over. This is another vintage that I picked up from San Francisco. It's just like a beautiful long skirt. 
I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is a ruffle skirt that's like red with these little prints on them. They are cute, but they are not my style. These are Uniqlo skirts. I don't get to wear them very much, but they are so comfy and they are so timeless. So I'm just gonna hold on to these. A work skirt. This is just in case, like I need like office looking gear. In terms of jeans, I really did already do a very big declutter. So I kept myself a pair of like mid-wash boyfriend style jeans. Mum jeans as you will. One pair of like tight light wash skinny jeans. One pair of dark wash skinny jeans. This is a white legged pair of jeans. And then these are a pair of purple suede jeans from Ann Taylor that I just never wear but I'm hoping for the day. I'm like very excited about these. So that's it. I'm gonna pack these in right now. I forgot to go through my shorter skirt, so this I got a very very long time ago. I think when I was 10. Might have been my mom's, might have been an aunt's. You can't go wrong with this, so this is like just in case. Okay, I think I will pass this on. Pleated skirt. I don't really see myself wearing that anytime soon. I got that in Bangkok when my cousins were looking for like very work appropriate clothes and I don't know why but I was like, oh maybe I need work appropriate clothes too. So I bought that. I was like just fresh into uni, so that's the reason why. This is super cute. I got this in New York. This kind of is very similar to that, which is why I'm okay with leaving that behind. Because this is a suede A-line like tennis skirt. Oh my gosh! This skirt is coming back to haunt me. This was from Taobao. I hauled this like nearly two years ago. And everyone was like, oh Brenda is like super cute. Like if you don't like it, give it to me. Because I kind of mentioned how I didn't like this look. I'm gonna declutter it because I just never wore it. This is new actually, this is from Topshop. Cute right? Yeah, I'm very excited to wear it. This is also one of my new skirts. I stopped buying skirts for a while. For the most part of uni, I really didn't wear any skirts so I didn't buy any but now I'm really liking it because I just think it's yeah more put together than just your average pair of denim shorts. This is also cute, I wear this all the time. So this is like my denim skirt. And then finally this one which I also do wear sometimes. Okay, gonna pack them in now. Oh, it already looks so much neater already. Yay! Okay, so let me try and explain what's happening. These are white legged pants, these are like cigarette pants slash like straight leg pants. I have only two overalls, I decluttered all of the rest in a light denim colour and then one is in black denim. The leggings, I'm not even gonna go through, I just kept like the minimal amount of like two, three pairs of leggings if I need them. I'm just gonna go behind and pretend that ain't nobody see them. I don't want to encourage myself to keep like reaching for denim shorts as like a to-go option so I'm going to put that at the back. I may or may not have, you know, I, okay I'm a perfectionist like I have a little bit of, and I don't say it lightly, like I have a little bit of OCD so I may or may not have rearranged them a little bit by colour. This one I tried not to do so it doesn't look so purposeful. When I think of how to dress or what to wear, I usually think of my colours first. This really does help and it does look a little bit better and it doesn't look as chaotic and everything now fits really nicely. These are all the things that we have decluttered today. I'm gonna set these aside and I'm gonna work on these things tomorrow because I think that would make for an entire video on its own. It's like really gonna be a lot. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you like this declutter series, if you want to see more, let me know. Do makeup, we're not gonna get through it in one day. Skincare even probably. So we're gonna have to do this like the whole week and I'm feeling good about it. I may have seemed like a bit of a hoarder, I know, but that's also because I know what I wear and I wear a lot of different kinds of outfits. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe, notifications, all of that. You know the drill. Just turn them all on and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye!